The next thing that should change is redlining. When this system was created, this was the one major confusing issue that I didn't like at all, but I understood why it was being implemented. And it was because at that time, there was a vast amount of people signed on and signing on to the knowledge with the intention of just taking appearances in the hope that one day they will get a badge anyway. Now, these people had the lowest standards of technical skill and were clogging up the system. So to discourage them, a system was created whereby you could actually go backwards. And because the knowledge is effectively a queuing system for giving out badges, unlike other cities that rely on a financial system, these people were just trying to join the queue. But here lies the major problem with redlining. I cannot think of a similar educational testing system whereby any previous exams passed amount to failing and can be removed. You either pass those appearances or not. How can they be taken away from you? Next is the discriminatory nature of this system, as it makes the knowledge harder for the weakest. If you have passed three appearances and failed three appearances, the next appearance you have is now far more psychologically difficult, placing an undue amount of stress upon the candidate. And it's at this juncture that more people give up the knowledge than any other time. Quite simply, there is absolutely no need for redlining anymore. Students should remain on the level until the examiner decides they are ready for the next level. There are not thousands of candidates clogging up the system, and even if there were, it would still be an unfair system. I have heard a few pro arguments for keeping redlining, and they're generally along the lines of, I had to do it, so why shouldn't they? It really isn't an argument to say it works or doesn't work. It's more of a shameful, selfish and jealous kind of nature. Redlining is a modern thing. And just because you were part of that system does not make it something good. The other argument is it's character building. Well, we are not on a yoga retreat or an Anthony Robbins NLP course. Character building has nothing to do with the knowledge. You are all adults looking for an occupation. The education of learning London's routes, roads, places is plenty enough. We do not need to throw in character building. These two relatively small changes, I think, will go a long way towards encouraging people back onto the knowledge and solving the current problems we are facing. So that's it for this video. I do think truly being a licensed London taxi driver is one of the finest achievements you can do. It is still absolutely worth it.